So what was it like in that bikini contest last night? Pretty exciting. Highlight of my weekend so far. You were trying to get the crowd loud. They were so, uh, for, I mean, why did Save a Horse ride a cowgirl girl? Right, the well, only one that what, made him yell. I think, I think they were all a little bit nervous, you know, they were probably had their wives and girlfriends around. Right, they didn't wanna, that's didn't true. Didn't want to too loud, but, uh, awesome group of girls like that was pretty neat i've been to the bikini contest i think twice now first time i went i felt like i could have run top five in it so uh awesome to see what uh, the promoters here are doing and they brought a lot of girls that were you know beautiful beautiful girls that paid a lot of money we've got a lot of sprint cars here the racing's been great um a lot of positives for the gold cup so right. it's exciting well, and then you have guys like this, this is their first time down over here Absolutely. washington guy and it seems like there's a couple Absolutely. first timers that check this out it seems well, like brad and everybody's got it going well 100 percent. what's really cool is there's not a 360 under the hood it's a 410 so right that's exciting that you're seeing guys in washington you're seeing guys that had sold off their 410 starting to creep back into the 410 so uh, I like to say the world's healing itself. We're starting to see 410s come back on the West Coast. And I think that means uh, it's going to be a good next few years. Well, and I think 410s are coming back in general just because it seems like if you want to be competitive on a 360 national or high-leveled area like California or somewhere where 360s are dominant, you got to have a pretty big money dollar hammer under yes. the hood to keep up. Whereas in the 410s, yeah, it pays off to have the best of the best Morrison or Don Otter rider. Well, you can get away with a yeah. 270 Don Otter, or, or I, you know, you can get away with a lower horsepower, lower cost. Yeah. For almost half the cost of some of the nice 360s, 410s, and keep up. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, a 410 and a 360, to me, there is no money change at all. The, the, if you want to buy a new 410, buy a new 360, it's a wash. Um, but the cheaper 410s no, seem to keep up. Exactly. I, I feel like... You know, if you want to go 360 racing, you got to have something that hits because those things are on the chip. They're wide open all the time. You want to get slick, you're using a bunch of pedal. With a 410, like we were out there right now, I never got past three quarter throttle. You can't. Right. So I think with having that extra power, especially the West Coast, we don't we don't have a half mile anymore. You know, God bless Calistoga. I hope it comes back, but we don't have a place where I feel like, oh man, I don't have a motor to run. It's it's bullshit. Quite right. honestly, I think that you know, uh, after qualifying. You can just get timed in nine times out of ten. It's not wide open, super hooked up and qualifying in most places we go. And if it is, it's a small enough place where it really doesn't matter. Um, I personally think that 410 racing is the way to go. I think it's better because it teaches you how to be a better driver. Um, it pays more. It costs the same. And you can get, like you said, a cheaper 410 and be competitive compared to the 360 stuff, in my opinion. And um, You still burn tires off just like you do in a 360 and a 410. It's the same stuff when you crash it, so why not have the extra stuff? And, and um race the better guys well and it really stuck out to me yesterday i was filming with this team here in the b main he's lined up next to david gravel and he pulls a straightaway on yeah. him it's like you couldn't do that quality of motor and and car it right. seems like it's so much more emphasized in yeah. 360 where you can somewhat get away with it in the 410 absolutely like i mean we, we i couldn't even tell you what my stuff makes horsepower wise because for us it just doesn't matter it gets we're, too much exactly we're looking for center or corner to exit if it's drivable and it can get me from center or corner to exit that's that's all you need and i've run motors you know when i was in the 83 car that were i mean eight-year-old motors seven-year-old motors and they ran every bit as good as my stuff that's two years old so um i just think 410 racing all around is better i think it's more exciting it's harder to drive um it's i mean it's just all around badass i think 360s was a a scam to have a, a money saving class well it's motorsports for a reason i mean you just i don't think it's possible to come up with a money saving class i mean the people that have the money, they're going to spend it. And, and, and I hate that as well. But, um, you know, I mean, we've got the funding to buy a new motor. We're going to buy a new motor. And um, I think with a 410, it, it matters a whole hell of a lot less. And I think it matters a whole hell of a lot more what you're going to do to your race car and, and the driver in the seat. Well, and for this West Coast scenario, it really does work out because luckily it isn't Pennsylvania where maybe those big motors can make that difference. You may not have the same conversation if your weekly track was Port Royal and Williams Grove. Absolutely. I, I can't definitely can't speak for those guys there. I can tell you. But you see the logic. In oh, no, 100%. I can tell you what, like at Knoxville, um, you know, I had big motors and small motors a few years ago, and my small motors were what we would run the Knoxville Nationals, and we made the Nationals uh, the last two years I was there. So, I, I mean, I think obviously you need power. You need to have a good hidden motor to go to them half miles, but once you qualify even at the big places i think you're you know you have to detune or you have to you know roll up off that pedal and and uh, you know but for short tracks four tens all the way right okay yes, sir okay awesome are, 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 are you mad you missed the glow stick party uh honestly i don't even know what the glow stick party is i it, it I, was way more crunk or, or like it? that's an old we may I know, know what crunk we is. know what crunk means yeah. oh my god we're, yeah. we're, we're about the same age yeah. almost same height yeah uh 
the glow stick parties, it was it was a lot of fun. The night before the PD Very cool. contest, way more crunk. Yeah, that's awesome. Brad I like Sweet that. and Donnie Shots were doing some weird things. I like that. Yep. It I don't know if weird. Brad is straight anymore. Well, but that's been rumored for years now. Oh, really? <laughs> really? This is how we ride. This is how we do. Ride much slide.